Hi everybody, my name is Lynn McDonald and this the training today is going to be for if you've just got started in the business. I'm uh, going to focus mainly, uh, first of all, on selling products on Facebook. If you're going to be retailing with the uh, catalogues uh, and not doing the online Facebook selling, then it is important that you still learn this. Uh, and if you're already selling on Facebook, it's also important that you still learn this so that you can teach it. Uh, so if you've got if you've just got started, here's a few little tips uh, before I show you how to get started selling on Facebook. The first tip is to communicate upline. Now, that's for the person who introduced you to the business. It's an established fact that people who regularly contact their sponsor and successful upline are far more successful than those who don't. Lots of ways of communicating nowadays. Uh, in the good old days, we used the telephone and uh, laterally emails. But we've got Skype, we've got phone, we've got Facebook, we've got email, we've got text, uh, you've got chat on Facebook. There's loads of different ways to keep in contact. And it doesn't have to be hours of communication. It's just keeping that daily contact to make sure that you're on track with your business. Here's the best tip I can give you, though, uh, if you want to make income out of the business. Learn the system. This is the most important step to a successful, clean, easy business. Your willingness to learn will determine your level of success. Your job is to learn. That's simple. Our job is to teach you the simple system. So, you will learn the system by speaking daily to your sponsor, reviewing the Facebook team groups daily, attending your weekly webinars like this and others, attending the monthly System for Success trainings and others, Millionaires Trainings Birmingham, studying the system, but most importantly by taking action. Because that is when you actually really start to learn when you take action. So how to get started with retail online. Now here's a little picture of Lynn Max online shop. Now this is a closed group that I've created and built. And this is basically how we're selling and team building, but this training's in particular about the selling on Facebook. And what I'm going to show you today is how to develop your own Facebook group. you be glad to know it's very, very simple. But before I show you, just let me show you the power uh, of this. This is little Claire. She joined during the school holidays, the summer holidays, and she has three children. Um, so during the school holidays, it normally would be a good excuse not to do the business. Uh, Claire earned £405 in her first four weeks in Clean Easy. Uh, that was a little bit of catalogues and a little bit of online, about 50-50 the same amount of sales. So she did both. Um, this is Debbie, who's actually in Claire's team. Um, and Debbie, uh, in period 12 there, earned £317 purely from online sales. And here we have Stuart Kyle. Stuart joined uh, at the end of December, uh, sorry, middle of December, but that beginning of December-ish, and uh, was opening up a new hair beauty salon at the same time as getting started very spare time on his clean easy business. But having used Facebook to build his beauty business, he understood the concept, put the work in place, and earned £247 in his first four weeks in the business. So the money's there. So a beginner's guide to Facebook. And let me point out, these are the first month incomes. They're usually part-time or spare time. And your income will and can grow from there. There's lots of uh, information available. Speak to the person who invited you onto this training to find out how you can grow your income from there. So the most successful way that we found to sell the products and network the business online at the moment is Facebook. So what I'm going to cover tonight is setting up your Facebook group, building your group, selling products, notification, keeping records and promoting your group. 
So let's go to step one, setting up your Facebook uh, group. If you're not on Facebook, just go to facebook.com and register. It is pretty self-explanatory. When you log into Facebook, this is the page that you'll see. Um, and you'll see here, it's a little bit small, but that says create a group. So you just click create a group. And then you want to name your group. Mine's is just Lynn Max Online Shop. Uh, now, at the members bit, you don't want to start adding loads of people at this stage because you want to build your group properly first. So just add the person who introduced you, your sponsor, because the reason for that is they'll be able to guide you. Uh, you may want to add a friend or a spouse, but I prefer and recommend that you add your sponsor so they can get an eye on it for you and help you guide and teach you. At the privacy section, click closed. may seem a bit strange uh, that we're a closed group and we want to promote products in a business. However, this gives us more control from Facebook legislation. Uh, then just click create. Now that's your group more or less set up. You just want to uh, tidy it up, put some photographs on. So a little bit here, you click notifications, where the arrow is, and uh, that will allow you to add a description. But you want to do a little bit of admin here. Click any member can add or approve members, but admin must approve. Enter an email address for your group. Example, I put Linmax Online Shop because this email that you put here will become your group address. So my group address, for example, is Linmax Online Shop forward slash Facebook, well, Facebook groups. Uh, so that's quite important to get that to be the same name as your shop. Add the description here for your group. Don't put War and Peace, you know, just something simple, packed full of home care, garden, curtains, whatever you want to put. But it's a good idea at this point to put, please recommend and share this group with friends. And finally, post and permissions, all the admin can post. And then you want to click save. And then I'll take you through to the next page where you can upload your photograph. Uh, you just click this little star. Some people put bargains and special buys and what have you. Per personally, I prefer a photograph in one of the products, a popular one with plenty of stock. <laughs> <coughs> now, you may be able to steal these products from your uh, sponsor's group, which is probably what they'll recommend. Just go and pick a few pictures to help you build your group. But first of all, pick your cover photograph. And what I'm going to show you is how to check stock and where to find the photographs if you want to uh, get your own. So decide what it is you want to use as your cover photo or you want to post or sell. There's over 2,000 products. To find them, you can go to your online shop or to cleaneasy.co.uk. Just log in using your Cleaneasy account number and password. Click manage orders and it will take you to this page um, and you can see here products and you can see here stock hotline and stock checker both can be used the stock checker you just put a brief description a uh, sorry stock hotline and with the stock checker you put the product code in but that will give you the whether the products in stock and there's plenty of them but once you've checked the stock and select, you know, then there's plenty of them. I uh, would recommend the minimum of about 70 to 100 to be in stock. However, be careful if it's a new catalogue or a fast selling product. You might find you'll need more than that amount. Now, first of all, what you want to do is you want to personalise this photograph to yourself to make it unique to yourself. And you do that by editing in the photograph. Now, the reason that you do this is because Facebook isn't keen on free advertising. And that is what I'm showing you how to do today, is to advertise free on Facebook. So if you make the photograph unique to you, their cookies can't trace it back to Clonese or K-Life and then they discover you're a business. So I just use Pick Monkey. Uh, you can just simply add a frame. Now, what I would also recommend is you avoid Clean Easy branded goods uh, just for the same reason. Uh, avoid the Clean Easy branded goods so that you don't get identified as a business. You can always pass the catalogue on to your customer once they become a customer. So this is a pink, pink monkey. Ignore everything else. Just click edit. 
uh, and that'll open up a page in your documents for you to select the photograph and the photograph will appear here at the right hand side uh, but for now I click this one here which is just uh, given a frame I then click simple edge and there's your photograph there as I explained and then all you want to do is uh, click the simple edge and add a small frame save it to your documents and remember to delete the photograph without frames you don't want to accidentally delete uh, sorry upload a photograph with a frame so posting products um it's important to use start discussion uh about and rather than sell something to sell something i find one it takes longer but two it doesn't seem to get the same amount of interaction uh, so i use start discussion and enter the details about your chosen products um don't need to do war and peace here something pretty simple um there we go i love this stunning pink pantset it's only 35 pounds a little arrow there showing you how to upload the photograph so you just click the the camera there and you add your product photo uh, and once you're happy with it just click post now before you add people to your group we recommend you post at least 12 to 20 products these initial pod products some groups do have a page a face group group that you can go to get loads of products uh, or you can do them yourself as i've shown you through pick monkey or you can get your sponsor to who'll probably recommend this to go to their group and just save uh, 12 to 20 products and just copy what they've put for just just to get that group up and running quickly it's a matter of saving a dozen to 20 products uh, and writing a quick description uh, now you want to have plenty of products there for your new potential customers um, to choose from. Uh, you also want to continue to post a few different products on your own group on a daily basis. Uh, your first wave of sales will come from friends and family, but your next wave of sales will come by building that group steadily through the buying and selling pages. Uh, but before I go on to that, we have to put all your friends and family in first. So now you can start adding your friends and family to your group. Facebook initially will give you at least a, a list of recommended members. And where that arrow's pointing at is just below here. Once you've got a group set up and running, it doesn't recommend members. But when you first set it up, it gives you a list and you just need to add um, and accept, add and accept. It may take some time depending on how many uh, people you've got in your group but just set aside time to add everybody to that group and you usually can get most of them done in this way. If not, you can go through the alphabet. There's a little box here that says add to group and all you need to do is go through the alphabet and add the rest, the ones that you've missed brand you this is this is building your online group it's not a clean easy one at this moment building your group selling products and building a customer base and as i said previously initial sales will normally come from friends and family now the best way to grow your group in those early stages is to ask your friends beg plead <laughs> to add their friends and to share your group with them it's a good idea to send them a quick personal message you know hi mary how are you uh, i've started my online business and i've got a great wee group here can you have a wee look at my group and tell me what you think uh, not only are you building up a group to sell your products but you are building a, up a group of potential prospects for your business people who might be interested in getting started now, building your group, developing an online customer base with the catalogues, we blanket drop hundreds to houses to find regular customers, maybe three, four hundred a week. And then we stop going to the people who don't buy. Well, on Facebook, what we use is the buying and selling groups uh, to build our groups and to find their online customers, as well as that initial bank that we get from friends, family and the people they've shared it to. We also use competitions to build a group. But we find that that is more beneficial uh, from the prospecting point of view. But I'm going to show you how to do that because you can always capture sales uh, from 
any avenue people who join your group. So sell products online by a quick recap. Setting up your own local selling group. Join it says join in five groups per day here, but I recommend you know you can do more than that. This is probably for people who are working full time and perhaps are only online once a day. Uh, but if you can go online more than once a day, uh, just leave a wee gap, join five, leave a wee gap, join another few. Um, your sponsor will also help you. Like and comment on posts before you advertise. So become part of that group, get involved in the group and we recommend to post the, you know, two or three products in groups every day. Now you want to build up to post in, in 50 local selling groups daily every single day. Now believe it or not, this is not going to take you very long once you've got it set up and you've done it. You're talking about 30-40 um, minutes, you just need to put it onto a weekly buy planner. So how do we else can we build our groups within our seller products? Well, we build that customer base, as I said, from the buying and selling groups. So how do you find them? First of all, ask your sponsor to add you to some of the groups that they're in to help you get started. But you just go to the search button, start by typing the name of your town into the search box, and groups will start to appear. Uh, the, top the top results will appear at the left, and I'm going to show you a wee visual in a minute. And under the result type, click groups. When you see the group you'd like to join, just click the join button and the groups admin will approve that um, hopefully quickly. If they don't approve it quickly, quickly post an advert on, see if it goes to admin for approval. And if it has to go to admin for approval, because it's taken them some time to add you to the group, and I'm meaning weeks or months, then it could take them the same length of time to approve posts. So just delete ones that take far too long to add you, but give them a test first. And this is what it looks like here. There you see top results uh, and under group types, uh, result type rather, click groups. And then you'll see a list and you just join, join, joined, see a few more there that we need to join. And you want to build this up to a minimum of 50, but you heard me talking about a weekly planner there. It's really, really important to use a weekly planner uh, to plan what you're doing because what I find, if you don't plan and schedule it, it doesn't get done or it can be procrastinated, <laughs> which means put off. Uh, for people like me who had to look the dictionary for that one. So building your groups. So this will include all the groups with the name of the town you're searching for. And you can keep adding groups for as long as you want. As I said earlier, don't add too quickly uh, or Facebook might block you. Any, un any unusual behaviour on your account can actually flag up an alert that you're a business. So just take your time. Do it slowly. Do a few, go back, have a cup of tea. Add uh, five groups or so, as I said, take a break and then come and do some more. And as I've said previously, your goal is to end up joining a minimum uh, of 50 to 6. It's, it's creeping up there. <laughs> it's went from 40 to 50. So it'll creep up to 50 to 60. Obviously, it's uh, up to you, but I would say a minimum of 50 daily if you want to sell products and build your online selling group. Now, I know it's a prospect group, but you also want to sell from it. And the best sales come from people you know and going on the buying and selling groups and building it from there. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But your next goal is you want to post two or three products on each group on a daily basis. Um, morning, you might pop a product up. Afternoon, at lunchtime, if you're working, you might pop another product up. In the evening, when you get home from work, you might pop another product up. It takes 20 to 40 minutes and much quicker if you're literate with using the telephone to do it. Uh, sadly, I'm not so good at that. But some of my team can post uh, many adverts in 5 or 10 minutes. So we'll, we'll find out how you can do that. But I think if you're already literate with the mobile phones on Facebook, this won't be a problem to you. 
But don't forget, <laughs> sometimes we can forget to keep our own group refreshed with products uh, because you need different products going on there daily because the whole idea is for you to invite people into your group to build that group and sometimes when we're going on the buying and selling pages we forget to keep our own group of a few different products there. That just takes a couple of minutes. Whatever you're advertising on the buying and selling pages, just pop on your own group first. Obviously, you can expand further. Uh, we tend to build selling groups uh, a bit locally just for the psychology that we perhaps feel we maybe get more sales. But we do do a lot of deliveries uh, using what's called a drop ship. Or we can actually send a PayPal link and the customer can uh, organize it themselves. And there will be a training video on that available at the um, It Works For Me uh, online webpage. Um, so you can, of course, and remember, your customer base is a prospect list. When I first started selling online, I sold 10 bird nest boxes at £10 to Aberdeen, the people in Aberdeen, and they paid a 3.95 delivery charge. Of course, the prospects too. Now we can send them a PayPal link, which is much, much simpler. So the selling process is first post products on your own group. If you're posting the same item in the other groups, all you have to do is paste your safe product description and upload the edited image. Don't spend any more than 30 minutes, maybe at a time, posting ads. Again, too much activity may post up as suspicious. The great thing about selling online is it can be done at any time of the day. Uh, and sometimes time that's otherwise non-productive, example, early morning, uh, later in the evening. Uh, and people do love to shop online in the middle of the night. It's fast becoming a brilliant way to build your business and sell products. So you posted your adverts <laughs> and now you're about to see how to turn them into sales and also how to build your group with them. Now up here you'll see something that looks like a world map of the world and it's called notifications uh, now not everybody who's interested unfortunately will actually comment uh, uh, will actually email you rather uh, which you've asked them to do please email me for information about the product they're probably not personal messenger they're more likely to comment so you'll get a note of these comments click down the notifications and that will give you note of the comments and then in the next slide you'll see a visual aid to how that actually looks. But you click down the notifications and you scroll down um, and uh, if someone's made a comment, first of all, always like the comment uh, and this notifies the customer that you've seen it. It also takes your advert back to the top of the page of the group that you're posting in, which is handy. But like the comment and then respond with, I'll send you a personal message. At this point, I also like to leave a link to my online shop. So say, by the way, have you seen my online shop? There's lots of fab more products there. And that also lets people in this, other people in the selling group see your online shop. And this is one way that I grew my group uh, and still grow my group is simply by adding the link to my online group and other people in the buying groups see it and you'll get a few responses wanting to join your group as well as the person who made the original comment. You want to add them as a friend and then message them. Now, likewise, if somebody just likes the product, you've got an opportunity here to take the advert back to the top of the page. Thanks for the like, Jane. Um, if you would like more information, please, uh, or would like to buy, please message me. I also have an online group with loads of fantastic products. Have you seen it? Uh, here it is. Bam. Please feel free to share this group with friends and family. Add them as a friend and then personal message them. So this is what I was saying. When you click on your notifications, this is what you'll see. And there you've got Lorraine Old, Likes Your Photo and Lynn Max Online Shop. Now that happens to be in my shop, these ones. But the great thing is it shows you a picture of the product. So they're very easy to find. So, But make sure you maintain your notifications. It's not infinity and it's not even date. Uh, governed and uh, you get so many only so if you've got a lot of notifications you must look at them regularly because they'll go out of date you might want to get them uh, notifications sent to your email so that you don't miss any 
um, or make sure you're not getting too many notifications from other people because this can swamp you and you can lose your customers. So there's how you find your notifications. Keep good records. I keep a notebook and I also keep um, order forms beside the PC when I'm on the selling and doing the selling process. So here's some wee tips on the selling process. Keep an eye on messages from non-friends in the message request section. That's important. Like the customer comment. As I said, that notifies them that you've seen it. Respond in comment section with a variation of I'll message you. Send a friend request. Comment below the likers of your advert in all groups. Uh, and I add my online shop to that. Never had any bans from it because it's in comments. It also takes it back to the top of the page. Respond to the comment be personal message. Now this part's important. Chat as a person, a professional, but as an individual, not as a business or a company. Get commitment by gaining address and phone number. This gives some accountability to your order. This is very, very, very important. And confirm when the order is going to be available. Um, you can get that order to them quickly. Uh, if it's over £50, you may want to send them the PayPal link. Uh, and even if it's under £50, you may ask them if they would like to get direct delivery. It's only £3.95 delivery, and that's uh, signed for and insured, which is really good value. Uh, add and invite them, obviously, to your group. Everybody you add as a friend goes straight in the group. I do it. As soon as I add them and they've accepted, I do it right away. And write out an order form. And this is for your records, not theirs. Um, message to confirm when it's available. I usually pick up the phone. I prefer that. I've got a phone number, a phone and arranged delivery uh, or collection. And give them a catalogue. Clean easy or key life. It's up to you. Both if you want to. So building your groups, here's some other wee tips. There are different ways to build your group. And as I stated at the beginning, there's the warm market. That's people you already know and their friends. Asking them to add people to your group. Buying and selling pages from, from customers who buy or like the products. Always add a new customer to your group, but always advertise your group as every opportunity because that is one way that I really built my group quite quickly. If, uh, that's the one below, number three. So uh, you might even want to send them a personal message. I know some people do that. Thanks for the like or the comment. Uh, have you seen my online group? I prefer to do it on the wall uh, under their message or their like uh, because it gets seen by more people. Uh, for a successful selling group, we recommend a minimum of two and a half to three thousand. For a team building group, we recommend much more. Uh, but that training will be in a separate video. Uh, and we can also build that group further through using competitions. Now, although you will get uh, customers and you will get customers adding people and your group will grow really quickly for competitions. We found that this has actually shown itself to be more beneficial from a team building point of view. So always continue to grow if you're wanting to focus on selling products as well as team building. Continue to grow that selling group side of it through posting adverts and buying and selling pages and build it that way. So, but you can run competitions in your group, a wee free gift to the person who adds the most friends to the group. Now, this doesn't need to be something expensive. It can be uh, Craig Skellerin, a leader in the online in the business, said it could be a small box of chocolates or a bottle of wine. I prefer to use a little uh, inexpensive, clean, easy product. People like a freebie, <laughs> no matter what it is, people like freebies. But co competitions are a fantastic way to actually build your group at lightning speed. And you'll hear stories of people going from zero to 5,000 group members in the space of 30 days. And a lot of it is done through the competitions. Um, make it fun, make it simple, and make it interactive. Always thank people with a tag. So, hi, Sheila. 
thanks uh, well done for adding uh, x amount of friends um you're you're well on the you're well on the scale for it be the top uh don't say that they're at the top again how many they've got because people might give in just say you're doing brilliant uh, and just keep encouraging uh you might want to welcome people the group where we welcome image and i just googled that and found it announce the winner make a big fuss of them and make sure um they maybe get a photograph at some point of them getting their their prize uh, and we've, we've seen groups go from zero to 10,000 members in a short space of time. Speak to your sponsor for more tips. There's also training videos on the internet, on the system for success, uh, all about this. So interaction. What do I mean by interaction? Um, it's important to keep the traffic flowing. Now, if you're putting products on and you're not getting a lot of interaction, people liking them, uh, then put other things on your page to keep your group alive with comments, statuses, pictures, competitions. I like little cute animal videos. Uh, Kate and my team likes the competitions uh, and they work really brilliantly. But the more interaction on your group, the more the more people actually see your status updates. So if you've not got interaction, you need to try and create it. Uh, competitions is actually a really good way to get the interaction going because uh, that gets people coming in. It's important to be consistent. Ha consistent. Have it on your weekly planner exactly when you're going to be doing it. Uh, and be willing to just pop on at any time and do a little bit because uh, the more you do the more you learn uh, you might have a schedule like as I said before morning lunch time and evening but be consistent on a daily basis and that's the online selling uh, through Facebook training finish thank you very very much for your time uh, if you've got any questions from this training, please speak to the person who sent you along to watch it. Um, and uh, good luck with your Facebook selling. What I will say, though, it uh, is putting in the disciplines, a few simple disciplines, practice daily and accumulated over a period of time. If you put in the work, the results will come. The next video is going to be how to... Um, generate leads on Facebook, how to team build on Facebook, how to take your income from £250 to over £1,000 in just 30 days using this self-same Facebook group. Uh, so don't forget to uh, tune into that. I'll speak to you all soon and thank you very, very much for your time.